It's Jerry Hendrick. I want to thank y'all for listening to the Strenuous Life Radio. This is episode 128, The Promise of the Father. So get ready. Let's ride. This episode is called The Promise of the Father. And so if you will, if you will indulge me, those of you who have a Bible, open it up. We're going to go to Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. Now the background is Jesus had risen from the dead. And then <clears throat> he was able to be with two people that were walking on the road to Emmaus. Okay? So think about it. Now, here's something for you to understand. Jesus is now appearing in the upper room. He's talking to um, he's talking to ten of the eleven that's left. And he says, "These are the words which I spake unto you." while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written <coughs> within the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it is written and thus it is behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. <coughs> and that repentance, remission of, sin, remission of sins, should be pre uh, preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tell you at the city until ye be endued with power from on high. Now, what do you think that that means? In the Greek, it means clothes. It means invested. And see, Christ gave us power by which we're before prepared. Okay, so it's been there, okay? He gives us the promise of the Father. Now, you're probably wondering. What is the promise of the Father? 
you know. <coughs> what is it? Well, I'm looking at the. Um, we're, we're looking at the concordance in my Bible. It's talking about covenants. It's talking about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Think about that. We're talking about the promise of the Father. Now, I know you, some of y'all are like, Jimmy, come on, you're getting awfully uh, religious. And I get that, you know, our next, our next podcast will come from a more historical episode, will come from a more historical prote- um, um, historical situation. And um, at some point, JR may take over that, I don't know. But this one thing I do know is that we are given that problem, that promise. But it does not mean we embrace the, the doctrine of ignoble ease, okay? Covenants mean that we live a righteous life. Covenants mean that we draw closer to God, okay? We take an oath. We take. We take a covenant. It. It, it should be up to for us to, to keep it, you know. Because in the way the Lord commands, and the Lord revokes. Now, that being said, I realize that a lot of my podcasts have been faith faith based lately. You know, uh, there, there was one I did yesterday for Empower Your Pattern that was faith-based. Faith based. What I did yesterday in a roundabout way was faith-based because in reality, you can't separate the spiritual from the temple, okay? I understand, you know, um, we're going to bring back helping the hurting world some, some at some point, but at this point, to be honest with you, we need to continue to go forth and teach the essentials and eventually I will come back to some of the soft skills but I want you to, I want you to be ready I want you to be ready and, and, and know what you need to know that we indeed have the promise of the Father among us and so With that, we hope that you enjoyed listening to the Strenuous Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Strenuous Life Radio. It's J.R. Hendricks signing off for Timmy saying, Don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what, uh, do, do what others don't so you can be what others won't. Do what others don't. So you can have all those can't. Like my daddy always said, think strong, live strong, and live a strenuous life. <coughs>